Good evening. Wait, you're saying to you're saying to everybody except me. If, if you would listen, you would know you was the first to hear Tootly. No, no, what I'm saying the, the, the email. Uh -oh. I didn't get it all. I know you got it, but you have too much. That's what happened to you. <laughs> Don't I come think, on here. You know, you know, I think she said today we're enterprise and not enterprises. Well, some you see when you got too much going on for you, that's what happened to you. And you know, she told me Zoom, right? But it's stream yard. What am I gonna do with you? Can you just come on and greet me with love? Toodaloo. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Toodaloo. <laughs> we're here, we're here. And mm -hmm. hold on, I gotta fix my hair. Are we are we live? We're not live yet. We're done live. See, people are logged on already. Oh my gosh. And they I'm watch. talking like this. Oh, let yes. Me, let me get Change a full your screen. tone. Change oh, your let tone. Oh, let me put up let me put on my nose. <laughs> Hold on, let me do it too. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hi, Kimbe. Hello, Hi, Alyssa. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. They are logging on already. I don't know. But while we fix ourselves and get ourselves ready, let me just thank those beautiful businesses and sponsors. Good evening to you, Problem. Um, Dave share share the live as they say all the way they think it's they have a thing to say share the live so i'm oh, copying wow. it tonight because i don't say share the life because whoever gonna share it gonna share it but right. i'm just gonna say it tonight because everybody probably logging on and seeing that i am not wearing no wig <laughs> i thought they thought i was coming out with a wig tonight oh how dare you people I could never come on with such great, uh, such a great show. Folks who know about here, and I come on with a wig, not tonight. So mm -hmm. tonight we're going into some real conversations, and we're going to talk. So all you all out there who say you all wear it natural and locks and all these things, but you all don't even know what to do with your locks, how to wear your locks, what to put in your locks, we come in tonight to talk to you. So, but in the meantime, I am just going to do one thing. June 4th, White Consulting Group in association with Culture Jam Radio presents Flower Gun and Friends. Madame Old Time Dancing, come back here. It's Flower Gun and Friends. Madame, me love, me love a bad. Love, me love a bad. On Saturday, June 4th, at Empire Manor, formerly Monica's Townhouse, 131-25 Springfield Boulevard in Queens. It also features Michael Lickshot Palmer. Keisha Martin, Junie Wright, Steve Knight, Alfred. The Saturday, June 4th. It's Flower Gun and Friends. Get your tickets today. I hear the name Lick Shot and all these things. These people have all kind of names. Yeah. When they come out to Jamaica, Lick Shot. <laughs> I don't know where they come with, but we're going to lick some things on you all tonight that mm -hmm. you all have not been doing. We're coming to talk about hair. We're coming to talk about beauty and everything that you all need to know. So right now, I'm just giving it to you before we go. We're getting ready. The Reggae Festival proud to present Legends in Concert on Sunday, May 29th, inside the Capitol Theater, 149 Westchester Avenue in Portchester, New York. Legends in Concert, the queen of reggae, Ray. Marcia Griffiths. Like jumping. Along with Leroy Hepton Sibbles. And the godfather of dance hall, Johnny Osborne. All backed by Derek Barnett and the Statement Band with a special guest artist. That's Sunday, May 29th at the Capitol Theatre, 149 Westchester Avenue in Portchester, New York. Tickets are available online at thecapitaltheatre.com. There are limited VIP tickets available for an exclusive pre-show VIP party. For more information, you can call 914-417-1686 or email westchestermusicfestival at gmail.com. Legends in concert. Marcia Griffiths, Leroy Hepton Civil, Johnny Osborne. Sunday, May 29th, inside the Capitol Theatre. Theater, 149 Westchester Avenue, Portchester, New York. Okay, you hear it. Good evening to you, Trouble Paris. 
Nice to see that you log on. You heard about here now, so you're all logging on. Yes, girl, we're going to make you over. You could look like me after tonight if you would like <laughs> that. But let me force first, Dave, you see, when you try to yank how you, your mouth could twist up, I say, you know, first, first. But anyway, we have the coach, Kim Bay's here. Um, listen, you have the best here tonight. Problem fips, yes, you're gonna learn about you here tonight if you're doing the right thing. How oh, stilly, how you doing? I'm blessed like you. Oh, I'm glad you just rub it in. Make me feel <laughs> you, you know, I like I like that because you know, when you have a down spirit and you had a bad day, and then somebody come and say, I'm blessed like you. Mm -hmm. You just cheer me up. I'm because so yeah, yeah, yeah. We like to feel like the world coming to an end when something ain't going right or something mm -hmm. wrong happened, then all of a sudden, oh, everything just falling apart. But mm -hmm. when you remind me I'm blessed, That's I am right. blessed. That's why I'm here tonight. That's right. Thank you. And they may say I'm a little biased because I introduced the ladies first, but this is save the men for last because they carry the load. So we just want to introduce you to no other than, I sure, Everyone that listening, good evening, endurance all the way in Florida, girl. How are you, Doctor Dave A. B. Ray? What a title, the doctor, and then he, I know him as Dave, but you got to hear the A and the B and the Ray. But I'm just Avril. We're here tonight, and we're going to be talking about here. So share the live and tell those who didn't who tune in on time. If they miss it, they can watch it later. But we're here now to talk. And tonight, I'm going to start with me. And if you're watching, you know that I normally be wigging it up, doing all kind of thing. But tonight, I just want to show Coach Kimber that I have here. Because really, Dave Ray, somebody's feeding back. Somebody have on their Facebook. So okay, probably I, I Dave. Just, I just shared it with Facebook. Sorry. Oh, okay. So um, the problem that I have and why we're here tonight, and we're going to talk about a whole slew of things, but before we go into the program, we're just going to say we have a, a moment of silence for all these killing that took place mm -hmm. um, recently, you know. We just have to take a moment of silence and remember that we this show was planned before, so it's not as, oh, we should have been talking about that. We'll be talking about that, trust me. But we are going to pay respect to all those who are mourning and our Facebook friends and family who is mourning around the world, not from gun violence, but somebody's mourning tonight. So to all my viewers and ourselves, we're just going to take one moment to, for the Buffalo shooting, the church shooting, and everything that's happening around us. Let's take a moment of silence for that. Okay, and I hope it was long, because when we say a moment, everybody looking for maybe a full one minute, but a moment of silence, respect. And, you know, we're here tonight. We are so blessed, as Stilly say. We are so blessed just to be here tonight because I can share a story tonight, but I'm not prepared to go there right now. But you will hear my story, what took place over the weekend. And I know everybody know, but I give God thanks for my son mm. being here with us today. Amen. And I was just losing my mind when I thought I was losing him. But thank God. So right now, people, let's get a jolly show and a, and a cheerful show. And you see the ladies here tonight. We have our short and our colored hair and our over here do up. And Dave, we're just looking like a, a man. Just they, they just <laughs> no, no nothing special about the hair. But it is special because a lot of men is afraid to show their gray and show their white and they coloring it up. Women, you all coloring it up too. But we are so beautiful even with the white. So right now, I am just going to ask Dr. Dave Ray to you know let the people know Dave that I always had hair. And how long, you know, you know me with hair and I'm wigging it up. And then another time I'm cutting it because we don't know what to do with our hair. Mm -hmm. But being that the coach is here tonight, Coach Kimber, can you tell me something that, um, how, how you get your hair up and 
you know, I mean, do we know what we're supposed to use? How do we know? Because we know we have the hair show coming up. We're going to talk about that. Ladies, you need to know about that. But I need to understand how do we as women know what should we put in our hair? Black women on a whole. True, true. That's a good question. You know, I say that if you don't know, then ask the professional. So, you know, we're very thankful that you did bring us on here to be able to shed some light on how we can take care of our hair. Right. And so what I actually have at this time, I actually this is not like a permanent lot. I have a lot style. So it's just two strand twist. So I can take it down at any time and give it a good shampoo, a good condition and then twist it back up. But those who do have locks, um, I would always suggest to do like a steam and purify every two to three times a year minimum so that you can purify all those impurities out of the hair, give it some moisture. Um, I know that I did. It, um, I was with uh, Mazani with uh, Dave Ray years ago, and we was always taught moisture for flexibility and protein for strength. And a lot of times, uh, locks can get really dry, and after a time, it starts snapping off. Mm -hmm. So you definitely want to um, get, if you do have permanent locks, you want to get with a loctician so they can save the lock before it goes down the drain. Mm -hmm. And you say you get a, um, a steam at three mm -hmm. times a year? You should get a steam and or purified three times a year. I never and, heard of that. Yeah. And so each there's there's so many different ways to do it. So I would just say get with a loctician and do wherever they specialize in it, but they will have a way that they purify. And a lot of times it will include something citrus like a lemon. It mm -hmm. might include some steam. It'll definitely include some clarifying and things of that nature. Problem, I hope you hear that. Purify. Oh, that, that word, it just, it just sounds like when you're in church, it is a purify me. Mm -hmm. Who, who's thinking about purifying your hair? Yeah, when you have lots, you definitely want to purify it because a lot of times that hair mm -hmm. stays with you for years upon years upon years. Um, those who don't have lots, we usually shed off our hair when, when, um, after a certain amount of time, depending upon how long you're in the antigen stage of growth. And I'm sure Dave Ray will talk about that. So when you're when you're you're in three stages of hair growth, a lot of people we don't go through, we don't go through that, right? With the three stages of life. So that resting stage, it stays on there for years and years and years. And that has to be purified because that comes with a lot of uh impurities, right? Mm -hmm. So uh that that's what I have to say about that. And I can piggyback off that a bit. Go right ahead. So, so, so when you have a lock, you know. That's why it's called a lock because it's locked. And so mm -hmm. naturally we shed hair. Years ago, they used to say you shed, uh, the scientists have always done research and they thought people normally shed daily 50 to 100 strands per day. Mm -hmm. Now they've changed that to 100 to 150 strands a day. And I think that comes from the change in how we eat, the change in the climate, the change in our environment. And so we shed more hair every day. So as a matter of fact, when you wake up, you don't realize when you're walking, you're moving. If your hair is loose, you're losing hair. You just don't see it. Mm -hmm. If you have your hair braided, for example, let's forget about the locks for a minute. If you have your braided, when you remove that braid, you know there's a lot of hair coming out. Yeah, you right. don't want it to come out because it would have come out naturally because it's trapped in the braided format. Mm -hmm. So with the lock, it's the same thing, especially if you use some sort of wax or some sort of gel or some sort of product to keep the lock locked if i can if mm -hmm. i can be uh, redundant uh then you 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 have the fact that she said the antigen catagen intelligence stage the antigen is when the hair is growing it then the catagen is resting and so on but the thing is the hair doesn't get a ch chance to to be removed so it's trapped in that lock so mm -hmm. when she's the purifying she's not talking about shampooing your hair you should shampoo your hair a little bit more than that but the purification or the steaming process that she's suggesting should be done three to four times, two, two times a year, three times a year, depending on your length, mm -hmm. depending on your texture. So if you have really dense, dense hair, you know, your 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 texture being fine, medium, or coarse, or how sparse your hair is, that determines mm -hmm. how many treatments you should get per year. Mm -hmm. But that would have to be determined by someone who's trained in that area. Am mm -hmm. I correct, uh, Kimbe? Absolutely. So, so, mm -hmm. so that is it. So we are losing here every single day without knowing it. That's how that's how our bodies function. Mm -hmm. okay? But it gets trapped in the lock. So the lock has to get special care. That's why you see some some people who wear locks who don't groom them. They tend to look a little shabby every now and then. You have to go and get it all shaped up, cleaned up, mm -hmm. you know, because it looks it looks brittle. The cuticle is always open and all that stuff. 
So you have to get it all groomed. You have to get it steamed. You have to get it purified, as she she rightly said. I don't know if Alyssa wants to add to that because Alyssa, you know, she doesn't only do color; she does everything. Oh, and so Alyssa, I I I I come into you here because right now, after tonight, it feels like all what Dave talking about seems like so much work. I just <laughs> I know, like you here, so we go in there in a minute. It's, but well, these actually, young ladies, let me just say about these young ladies. These young ladies, and I'm calling them young; they're not that that young. Oh, Dave. Okay, they're young. Young. These young ladies are some of the top <laughs> professionals in America. And I can say that boldly. They are part of my team, Beauty Works. Kim Bay is a coach out of San Francisco. Alyssa is a coach out of Brooklyn, big old, great old Brooklyn. And they have been a part. I, I, I handpicked them to be a part of my team because they have the knowledge. They know how to educate, edify, and entertain all at the same time. And the wealth of knowledge they bring, because I know that these two young ladies, particularly, although they're educators, they're always doing research. They're always re-educating themselves so that they can bring more knowledge to the not only the consumer but also mm -hmm. the professional hairdressers. So when you go to the hair shows, when you go to the symposium, these are the people you see around the country. Um, and now I, not to think. Yes, Hilma France is all the way in the Virgin Islands. And yep. How are you so, doing, Janice Martin? Oh, yes, Antigua in the house. Yes. So, uh -huh, and, and I'm Antiguan, by the way. If oh, Lord. Why I'm did I Antigua. have. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, but, uh, Kim, uh, Alyssa, you want to say something? Well, I wanted to pity back on um, just um, the locks. Um, I used to do locks years ago, but I kind of shifted out of that. Why? Um, it is a lot of work? Well, it's, for me, it was like braiding. Oh, you know, okay. braiding is a lot of work. And when you're dealing with locks, it can, depending on the length and the person or what they like to get done. Some people like color. Some people want to add on to it. So it can come into like maybe three or four hours of work. But you may not want to work that many hours just on one client. Um, so I kind of kind of shifted That's out. why it costs. That's why it costs. It comes yeah, it's, the cost. it's, it's, it's very expensive. And most people don't want to pay. A lot of people with locks, they don't want to pay. The cost so that's why people lose their hair um they they walk around and they don't really look tamed as, as if that's the word you could use they don't look tamed um because they don't want to come into the salon and spend the quality money it would take to care for their hair so they either do it at home or they have the sister girl next door do it and they may not know the proper texture of the hair they may not know how to really maintenance the hair because everybody hair's texture even in locks are different Mm -hmm. Um, when I, when I would do a cleansing, I would guess we would say a purification. I would use lemon, lemon, lime and baking soda. And I would create a, a, a bath for it. Mm -hmm. So the hair would soak. So I would have them soak. And make it. sure, make sure, Alyssa, mm -hmm. that they're not here when you know when some of them go home tonight to put one heap of this and that, trying to don't make try, it don't themselves. Don't try this at home. Don't, <laughs> don't, not, don't try don't, this at home. And she's not too. giving you her secret formula either. Don't just so, it. Okay. So don't hear don't what do she's it. saying. Go we, buy a barley lemon and lime. Because and it, might, it might turn into a disaster because for everyone's hair, depending on how much they cleanse a year, you may have to do two of them in that one setting to get out all the impurities and all the back because bacteria can sit in different talk. I even had a lady come one time and she had, she didn't even know she had bugs in her hair. And that's wow. crazy. She didn't, because they live in, they get inside. It's like a nesting. So that was probably another reason why I kind of reared away too, but <laughs> it's, it's a lot. It's a lot to do because you have to then protect yourself as a, as a, you know, stylist. So I would have to mask up put on gloves, you know, put on different clothing just so that I didn't walk away with the bacteria that they, they didn't even know they, and they, and they, and it's innocently done. They don't even know they're coming in and then they're shocked and amazed. And now it makes them come in a little bit more. Um, but another thing that um, even with, even with any type of natural hair, your diet, the foods that you eat, you know, what you take in, um, the water intake, you know, we don't like to drink water as African-Americans. We shy away from water. They just but sip. 
they just sip and you have you, you have sip. one one famous <laughs> one famous person who just log on Shirley Trippi because Shirley say interested she's learning because she believe in locks yeah and she have some great locks okay mm -hmm. and Janice said to tell you you did her here Dave in La La, La Ch Ch Chiquita in Antigua oh I had a salon there called Professional Results by Dave Ray this was this was in the 80s and then okay that's when you were young so right now we're talking about the younger days with alessa yeah. alessa continue Janice. because when you talk about that the, those bugs in the hair i used to worry about i always say i like to see locks but i like to mm -hmm. see them looking nice and neat like shirley here but sometimes you see some locks they all bulge up mm -hmm. and i wonder how do they wash them how do they take care of them so Some i always don't they some don't they just people, let them get some people never wash their locks ever yeah never <laughs> wash their locks ever so a great hot day like today when we as women we are saying oh my god it's so hot we want to pull out our weave and our wigs and all that and you have some people walk around with some long dreadlocks all the way down in their back how much it takes to to wash their hair and treat their hair and how often could some people especially if they're not working take care of locks well it's it's like i said it depends on the person if they it's just like any style you get you have to be diligent you know if you if you love yourself that's one thing too you some people don't take have self-care Do, doing my hair like before i got on tonight because i wanted to look nice i did my hair I wanted to present myself, you know, self-care and and to show what you should look like and how you should care for yourself. I didn't want to come on here presenting myself any kind of way. If I did, about an hour ago, you would have been asking me what's wrong. But I wanted to come on and look good. You know, you right. want, and, and then you're representing everyone that comes on with you. So it's a lot of times a lot of women, especially of our, our color, we don't we don't do self-care enough. You know, there's some women who just don't. Even if without locks, they don't naturally come in and wash their hair and maintenance their hair and take care of their hair. Some women just they'll, they'll throw on a, a wig or a hat or wrap their hair up. And I've I've had a lot of women that come in that maybe wash their hair every every eight nine weeks, ten weeks. And you should wash your hair every at least every two weeks, at least every two weeks. I'm glad you said that because me, I just like today I washed my hair and gave it a, a deep treatment. But then after doing that, I say what do I want to do now? I don't know what to do with my hair. If it's not braid, it's, I would wig it up tonight mm -hmm. and come on and after I take the wig off and fling it someplace, right? But I take yeah. care of my hair. Mm -hmm. But sometimes I don't know, um, if people go to all kinds of different beauty salon, they're all over the place. Mm -hmm. And every place you go, Coach Kimbe, I realize different people use different things in your hair. Does mm -hmm. it change the texture of your hair if you keep using all kind of different shampoo and condition? Does it matter? Okay, well, I'll chime in. Um, so there's, sometimes there's a misconception of texture. Texture means if the hair is fine, medium, or coarse. Right. And that means the diameter of a single hair strand. Mm -hmm. A lot of people with curly hair think that their hair is coarse. In actuality, a lot of curly hair is fine. And we fine. tend to overprocess. We tend to do, do services that are too harsh for the hair. And that's why the hair tends to break. Mm -hmm. So most of the time, you got to feel it to know. You can't just look at it. You do got to mm -hmm. feel it. But... Um, I would say consumers look at texture as the way it looks, right? They, they're they thinking if it looks a little, um, uh, so to speak, uh, what's another word for? Mm, Superfluous. Superfluous. Okay. Superfluous. Okay, let's go with that. Yeah. It looks, I mean, it, it's coarse, but really it's about what it feels like, okay? Mm. The diameter. Mm. So people, people confuse uh, density for texture. Absolutely. So a lot of times you can have a whole lot of hair in your head. For example, let's let's look at you. Uh, let's look at you, uh, uh, Avril. Yes. You have a lot of hair, but if I were to go close to you, your hair might just be fine. So I can't tell that from sitting here. I have to see your hair close up. So what what I generally do is I wear either white smock or white shirt, and I lift up one strand of hair. So when I look in the mirror, if I can see that strand against that white shirt. And you have a, a level one or level two tech color. Well, that's like dark color. 
if I can see in the mirror, which is about two feet away from me, then you're generally coarse. If I can't see very well, you're fine. So you can you can actually see if you put up against white paper, you can see that here is fine, medium, or coarse in terms of texture. But the density, so the amount of hair you have per square inch, that would be the density. That has nothing to do with the texture. It has nothing to do with the texture. And then you have a wavy, curly, and straight. And people call those textures too. Those are not textures, those are types. Wave patterns, so, yeah. Those are wave patterns are types. So you can say, what is the pattern of your hair? What's the type of your hair? What's the texture of your hair? And a lot of times, a lot of stylists, and I have to admit this, a lot of people who are not trained correctly will put, for example, a resistant relaxer or super relaxer in somebody who has fine texture because the person has a lot of hair when they maybe they really need a mild relaxer. And so you're, you're beginning the process with over processing the hair. You see what I'm saying? And so we have to that's why we have to go to these classes after some beauty schools, because believe it or not, some beauty schools don't give you the correct information. I hate to say that publicly, it's but it's true. true. But you have to go to advanced. When you go to me, I always say when you go to beauty school, it's like going to high school. When you go to advanced, it's like going to college. So you have to go on to college to get more knowledge about the subject matter so that you can be more versed in it. When you when you when you leave beauty school and you think you can be a professional for the rest of your life, you don't do any more continuing education, then you're gonna be left behind or you're gonna be doing some things that are not so pleasant to the hair. Oh, uh, okay. We have a question. We're coming up with the questions here now, but I'm going to thank my sponsors who work with me in everything I do right in the community. People don't go nowhere. We got to talk. I have some questions for Kim Bay and the whole team here tonight because after tonight, I'm going short. <laughs> yeah, so this is Anthony Cruz representing for Avril Show Foundation. Seeing June 3rd at 8 p.m. Don't miss it enough. Don't know Eastwood Manor in the Bronx. Go and check it out. Anthony Cruz said that. And do remember, she's gonna leave the door open. I'm gonna leave the door open. Mama, I love you. Care about you. <laughs> There's nothing in this world I wouldn't do. That's right. Um, Dave want to show him suit. He want to show people that he ain't just look like this. He can look like that. We are here. We are talking here. Shirley, you keep complaining about your hair. Oh, it's so thin in the front. And this is why I'm glad that you, you raised this where you says that it's not just looking at the hair. Because sometimes Shirley have a hair. Oh, my God, it's too thin. I need to cut it off. Good evening to you, Josephine, all the way in Texas. Good evening to you. Um, and, and she just look in the mirror and she always say, my hair is too thin. But you just made it clear. You cannot look at your hair and say that. Now, Janice asks a question. Um, how often should you trim your hair? Because every time we go to the beauty parlor, I noticed I used to go to this beauty parlor and I had stopped many years ago after Dave Ray um, threw me out because he fixed up my hair one day and I went home and I think I was too cute. And by the next morning I wake up, I didn't have no hairstyle because I sleep horrible. I can't do those little curls with Dave do when you look so beautiful. I would have to sleep on my hand or something because you don't want to mess that up. But I sleep horrible. So by the time I wake up the next morning, I couldn't find no curl. But I used to go to this lady and every time you go, she just cut him, cut him, cut him. So my problem is, as Janice asks, how often, Coach Kimbe, do you cut, do you trim the heads? Okay, good question. Um, I would say you need to trim as often as necessary. Some people like to put um, time frames on it, but everybody's different. I don't know what was done previously. Did you go swimming? Do you have a relaxer? What happened? You know, did you rip out your braids? Who knows? So all I have to say is whenever necessary, and hopefully mm -hmm. you attach yourself with a stylist that you trust to be able to do that. And a, a good stylist, hairstylist knows a difference between a trim and a haircut. Right. Yeah. So a trim just means that when you get a trim, it might not mean that your hair is going to be even. Right. If your hair, if we're focusing on evening out your hair, that turns into a haircut. Yeah. But a trim just means that a trim. So usually if you can pull it up and you can see through it. That's what you should trim. 
right? Mm -hmm. I know me as a um, stylist, I would look at it. I would say, this is how much we need to take off. Do you agree today or would you like to take off half of that today? If we take off half of that today, when you come back, we'll take off the rest as it continues to grow. Right. So it's just, you know, talking. I think consultation is crucial. Yeah. Consultation is a crucial part of servicing. You, 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 you make sense. It makes sense. But I was fooled to think that every time you trim, in the next two weeks, your hair going to grow longer. I, I, they used to tell you the more you trim, the more your hair grow. Is that true? It grows That's, healthier. Right. It grows healthy, but it doesn't but grow it doesn't longer. Make it grow. <laughs> because, you, because your hair grows from inside. So your hair can't, you can't, you can't trim the ends to make the, 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 the roots, if you want to call it that, the new growth right. come out of the, the follicle. Yeah. So what it does is it's, it's, it's like the race of the race of the rate of osmosis. So if you look at, for example, a plant, if you don't prune the, the plant leaves, the rest mm -hmm. of the plant will go. Right. So you have to take, you know, a, 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 what do you call it? A green thumb. You call it a green thumb person, yep. whatever you call them. Mm -hmm. They will tell you they have to groom their plants, take off the bad leaves and so on to keep the plant looking healthy. Because that it will, the rate of transpiration where the, 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 the dryness will spread to the rest of the hair mm -hmm. if you don't trim it. Right. So you have to trim the ends to protect the hair from getting... Um, to look even more thin, even more dry, even more. So it's not that it makes your hair grow more. It just makes your hair look more healthy. Right. Absolutely. Healthy meat. I like to piggyback that, I, on that. Like, yes. like Dave Ray was saying, you know, with the plants, it's like if you see a tree and there's a whole bunch of dead leaves, but there's a lot of green leaves, when you pull it, doesn't that plant look a lot and that tree look a lot better? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You could have just you might have a plant in your kitchen and you just took off the dead leaves or or maybe you revived it and you see one there. Are you going to say, oh, I'm going to wait 10 weeks and take that dead one off? No, you're going to make it look good. You're going to mm -hmm. feed it, give it what it needs to be able to grow healthy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it makes so much sense. And as Pat, Pat Ross Lake, uh, uh, in California say your hair looks healthier and fuller. Mm. Yeah. She's right. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to be trimming more. Josephine, <laughs> <laughs> Josephine Kelly in Texas, I know she says she's coming into New York. Josephine, I hope you're going to be here for the hair show, but she asks, I need a good a shortcut. Um, what do you recommend? We have Alyssa, who is in Brooklyn, but we're going to tell you about this big hair show coming up mm -hmm. and it's going to be july 10th in new york you can't miss it because i'm going there and i want to go this way so when i come out I'm a, everybody pass me straight because they don't know it's me so it's big thing going on how can you make an appointment to get a cleanse for my locks cleanse and purify if you've never been purified, you got to get purified. <laughs> now, people, you're all going to hate me tomorrow because I'm going to walk around talking like I'm a hair stylist now. You got it? I'm going to be looking at people. Oh, I think your hair need to get purified. <laughs> <laughs> Barbara Gibson, good evening to you, Barbara. Banners and etiquette. Yes, we're here talking about hair. And we have Coach Kimbe. Um, Kimbe, are you in California now? Where are you? I am based in California. Right now I'm in Texas. In my okay. Texas property. She's mm -hmm. in Texas, Josephine. So I will get information for you. You never know. You never know. But I'll have some information for you after the show. We're going to have a lot of information. So whoever you are, see, Pat, she's in California. So <laughs> Josephine, she's in Texas now. Look at that girl. You just talk about coming into New York. She's in Texas. And we're going to that here show. Now, let me ask, Alessa, I'm going to come to Brooklyn. I'm coming to Brooklyn because I feel that this summer, I ain't walking around trying to figure out, should I wig it, weave it, cut it? I'm just going to go straight and do what I have to do and make it fuller and shorter. Mm -hmm. Girl, I'm, I'm coming. <laughs> In the evening, Cheryl, do it. Cheryl, when you see me, you ain't going to see no wig for June 3rd event. No, I'm walking in there looking like miss all of that and a bag of chips. And she said, good evening to the panelists. So Thank you. yeah. Good evening. <laughs> good evening. I, Alice, are you going to do my hair for June 3rd event? Yes. I, I'm, girl, I'm coming in there to that show and everybody, I don't care how good you look. I'm going to act like I look better than everybody That's in the house. That's right. But That's after good. you cut them off, can you just save them for me in case I want to put them back <laughs> yeah. on? You can. The hardest thing is when you have hair, 
I sure a lot of people I have here, when they sit down to say cut them off and they see the hair dropping, they say they really don't want to do it. But sometimes we don't know what we want to do. But mm -hmm. then when you finish and you look so beautiful, you say, oh, I'm loving this. They've been working the Bronx for so many years. Dave have done my hair. I've watched Dave and he's just into it. Sometimes I say, Dave, just, and he said, no, 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 sit right here. Because you know what you do matters because when you walk out mm -hmm. of that beauty parlor and somebody look at you here, they're supposed to say, oh my God, who did that? Yeah, you did your girl, that's right. You understand? So yeah, we're going to Brooklyn and someone asks, how can I make an appointment to get a cleanse for my locks? Very yeah, nice. Okay, yeah. so I could probably give you a referral. I, you know, I'm a hairstylist by trade, um, but I transitioned. Um, I have an academy, so I'm a licensing academy. So I get people licensed to work as barbers and cosmos within 90 days in the state of California, anywhere in California. Mm -hmm. And then I transitioned also into being a coach. So I like to help industry professionals be able to build out their monetized streams to be able to create their own personal empires, you mm -hmm. know, through uh, real estate, um, investing into assets and all kinds of stuff. So I just, you know, trying to help our industry go to their mm -hmm. own next level, their mm -hmm. own customized next level. Now you hear it here from a, let me not say the word, because when you talk about color, after what happened in <laughs> with this gun violence and it was like so many of us lost our life it seems like mm -hmm. we can't even talk the word color anymore we're mm -hmm. targeted because of our color but as black women here tonight we are proud to know that we are doing things we're making a difference we're yes. making changes you know and coach Kimbe, man, you need to take it down to some of these different dave from antigua to sink it's all over the place and just train these women for a day because i'm going to be honest with you i've seen people who is beautician for years and i know i've said this to dave in the past and i've seen dave doing shows going all the way to california and all over the place to learn and get advanced some people sit in the beauty parlor and they do here for years and they learn nothing new. You have some beauty show and the only thing they know is to put some curlers in your hair, put you under the dryer, but they're not stylists and they're not trying to learn. Some don't even understand shampooing. You have some places you go the minute they wash your hair. They have this hot um, curling thing. They're just blowing out your hair, your hair straight as ever. And tomorrow you go back to the coarse look. So you want to really ask yourself, do you know what you're doing to your hair? We are damaging our hair more and more every day. And let me ask Dave about this show, Natural Beauty. That's right. I, I have to go low for a minute, but Alice, they're going to hook me up. I'm going all the way to Brooklyn. <laughs> Alyssa. You better be prepared. You're going to go back to some natural hair there. Alyssa, don't worry. I'm going Brooklyn. We come in Brooklyn. If I got to leave Bronx, somebody's not going to like it. But listen. I'm actually, I'm actually in Florida right now as we speak. This is from my Florida office. Oh, you, you, you're too show off, Dave. You, 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 you're too show off. Because... I got here today uh, from New York. Mm -hmm. But but I want to ask you, Avery, before we even go back into the hair, it's about your event that you host on June 3rd. I know you've been doing this event for several years. I want to say like 12 years, maybe 11, 12 years. No, but I was doing behind the scene. But for this event is seven. This oh, is our seven seventh years. anniversary it's now. Seems like year. I've been hearing about this show forever. And yeah. you have been doing this uh, to help people who have cancer, giving back to the community. You give all these awards. And it's such a great um, community service that you do. And I think we need to support this event more. I told you already, I'm going to be giving gifts, offering some gifts to this. And I'll be, as a matter of fact, my wife and I will be coming. She'll be coming that day. We will come back into New York and we're coming just in time for your event. Oh, I so feel so honored. So you, I feel I'll so honored. Because I'm going to blush. That, yeah, I, I'm going to give a gift of some of my hair products, as you know, I manufacture products. Mm -hmm. And so I'll give some gifts to, you can decide how I give them. If I give them to door prize winners or to, people in the community who you think are worthy of receiving the gifts. But I just want, you know, that's my gift. That's my gift to support you because you've been doing so many things to support our communities, especially here in the New York area. Mm -hmm. I've watched you over the years um, 
I know I know it's about us, about the beauty industry, but I'm telling you, Avril, you've been doing this thing, and I know it's not something you do to make a profit from. You do it because you love it. it you do it because I know that's not your profession. You do something other than this. But you have been doing this show for so many years. Even before we had Zoom, you were doing oh, yeah. it on, on, on radio, and you have been consistent. You see, you are committed. You're consistent. You're tenacious. You are persistent. And that is you have what, what we call testicular fortitude, which is... You know, Dave, men's, don't use too so much big words. And men are supposed to have that. Yeah. But you have been, you have been like a glue for so long. I mean, you have never stopped. And I really want to mm -hmm. celebrate you because your event is phenomenal. Yes. And so yes. June third, people who are listening, and I tell people here, here who listen, even if you can't make it, you should be able to sell her mm -hmm. fifty dollars because you know you buy money buying all kind of crazy shoes that you don't really want. Nobody likes to see you in anyway. So you might as well, oh, you buy some ugly wigs anyway. So what I'm saying is Zell her $50 towards the cause. I am going to be donating things. And I'm, but I told you this before, I'm buying a ticket, That's two funny. tickets now, because my wife is going to be there. So we can support your cause. Mm -hmm. I, I just, and then you're honoring some people who I know. And I know that these people are worthy of being honored, like Mr. Alonzo De Castro. I, I oh, saw nice. him at Sunday at breakfast and he said, oh, Avril told me you talk about me. So I said to him, yes, I told her everything bad about you. You know, <laughs> Mr. DiCastro is like 96 years old. Mm. And he is wow. one of the Facebook kings. He knows everything. about. He can say, oh, Dave, I saw you in Korea. I mean, this guy, he's just on Facebook. 96 yes. years old about, what, some, some months ago, I think December. Mm -hmm. So, and he's he's up on every social media handle. I mean, he's just a phenomenal. And he, he's the guy you go to in the Bronx for, um, if you want to become a politician, if you want to run for any elective office in New York, you got to go to Mr. Alan J. Castro. He's just the go-to gentleman and he's well-respected by the, the, the community, the, the community. Mm -hmm. So and I'm glad you're honoring him. I, I think he's, and then the other young lady who's with the NAACP, she has been, she has been with them for years. And surely, surely, surely yeah. So when I saw the names, I was like, you are just picking the best people. You know? Thank you. And so these I, people, Dave, let me say, without these businesses, friends will move on. The savvy out of Antigua. New friends will be found. All love can oh. die. Oh, wow. Roger McCampbell, that's like New love will come along. Life is full oh, of changes. I love Some nasty surprises. And that song is by my girl, Sammy C. Out of okay. Antigua. Yes, yes. Sammy. So she, she's out of Willie Keys, by the way. Just let me let you know where she's from. Oh, Lord of mercy. You uh, know too much. You know? <laughs> however, however uh, I used to take that cab service a lot. And uh, Rodman and Campbell, uh, Mr. Campbell, Hugh Campbell is actually yeah. my one of my attorneys. And McCall's is one of the biggest supporters of the community. Although they're a funeral home, they support everything. And I can tell you, they are one of the biggest supporters of the uh, United Negro College Fund. Yes. They sponsor scholarships every year. I know, I know my community very well, and I know the people who are. As a matter of fact, I'm honoring her, honoring McCall's in a, in a, in a. I think I told you about this. She's one of the persons I'm honoring in August. So just wonderful people. But let's get back to. Let's I just get want, back to the. I, I just, I just want to make this clear. People who are logging on, this is not about beauty alone. This is about. I want you to support Avril's the Avril's. Um, upcoming event if you have to send 25 dollars, you have to send 10 dollars by zell Abby, you got to give me a zell number Your i'm gonna out. give it to them okay and I, I, I want to to, yeah. to focus on somebody doesn't want to look like me i mean <laughs> josephine says she loved that red look and oh lord josephine don't look like me now oh i want oh, to be Alyssa. special i'm Alyssa. glad that Alyssa. josephine said that because um everybody um, values certain looks. We polish mm -hmm. differently, right? Yeah. Right. Because I know we was talking about some people with locks, they don't get it twisted or whatever. Some people, it looks good when it's kind of, you know, because I know I don't like when my hair looks brand new. Right. <laughs> yes, it's true. Even when you braid your hair, you, yeah. you a one week later, it start looking more beautiful. Yes, yes. Make it look a little old first, mm -hmm. you know. But then, but then at the same time, those who like it fresh like that, that looks good too. I'm just trying to highlight that we all have different values and tastes in polishing. And color, because I might go to 
to to her and then she might just say no i think this color may look better on you mm -hmm. so not because um she's wearing that color mean it's gonna look good on me i want her to find a color that good but can i how often do you color i color a lot yeah, so like after you colored me, how often do I have to do that again? Um, it, dep it depends on how aggravated you get with your new growth. Because sometimes I let the I let the black come in, but then when the gray show up, then it's for me. I got a color. I can deal with it as long as the gray ain't popping out. And you can tell you can also shameless plug tell them about about my my lightener that you so love because I have a, yes, I have a I phenomenal do, I lightener. Do. That, uh, and what does the lightener do? It like that's what he used to lighten me here so you can get the right the true color. Yeah. So it, I, the I have lightener the made lightener is just Dave Ray's lightener. It's uh it's called the universe lightener. It's beautiful. And, uh, Dave, I don't, I don't know what you I don't know what you don't know about here. And when 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 Dave talk about Coach Kimbe, I say you have a coach? I thought you know it all. <laughs> <laughs> and he she's goes, no, 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 no. That's my coach. She's my coach. <laughs> I said, well, if she's your coach and I thought you was the best, then Coach Kimbe got to be great. <laughs> I guess he didn't tell you. I mean, do you know his his other name is Master Dave Ray? You know right. what I mean? He says Dr. I, Master. I think, I think he didn't want to put it in there. Elizabeth, all the way upstate New York. Good evening to you, Elizabeth Walker. Elizabeth, girl, I'll tell you. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you a story about Kimbe. So we had a job to do for NBC um, some years ago. In Cal I had to fly into California to do a, um, a gift for NBC Universal. So Kimbe flew from San Francisco to uh, Los Angeles to meet me. And we, we worked like two nights all night. I slept for an hour. She worked for five hours. She said, Dave, wake up. You finish up the job. We had to get all these hair pieces ready for this presentation with the tel television station, and it was such a success that the company, when they when we showed up, they were like, "Where were you guys all the time? We had some horrible people out of California doing this work, and they just didn't do a good job." It so happened that I know the people who did the work, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, I felt so bad." They're like, "The union had to get rid of them. That's how horrible they were." Wow. And Kimby and I made a made an impression on them in uh, so many years ago. Remember, Kimber, we, we, I mean, we end up going to the Cheesecake Factory to get something to eat because we, I mean, we worked so hard. Do you remember? I absolutely remember. And and the work ended up on Sunset Boulevard on a billboard. Yeah, on a billboard. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. my goodness. Well, let me tell you, you have Elizabeth who say, I'm afraid to clip my hair. How can you make me comfortable? Elizabeth, let me right now tell you about Ju I mean, July 10th here in New York. We are going to talk about um, the hair show, building bridge into beauty. So we're going to cross that bridge because we want that beauty. Mm -hmm. um, let me see if a Y Young is on. Why are you listening? Are you there? I just want to make sure these people who have concern, endurance all the way in Florida. Good evening. I don't know. I, she love her short hair also. And um, yeah, the beauty surgeon. That's right. So let's talk about this show so we could get Elizabeth and Josephine and everyone who have concerned Janice. We, we need to get out there and get into this. So Dave, yes, July 10th, what's going to be happening? Where is the show? Okay, Elizabeth is in a rush to not talk up days. <laughs> okay, so the show is called The Phenomenon. 2022 New York City. It's a symposium and it's a so it's a trade, it's a symposium where you have classes. We have 45 classes going on all day long. You're gonna see Kim Bay in action, you're gonna see Alyssa in action, plus we have 24 other educators who are gonna be speaking at this conference from nine to six o'clock. So every hour in different rooms, you're gonna be able to hear about color, business, cutting, trichology, uh, 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 customer service, weaving, natural hair, locks every single thing that you want to know about here oh we even have my accountant who'll be doing two classes there about taxes whether you're a stylist or a consumer how do you file taxes what's the best way to get around the system how to make the system work for you and how to to position yourself to to gain wealth even through filing taxes mm -hmm. and so we have a full slate kim bay is going to show you how to get from behind the chair and how to or even even if you want to stay behind the chair but how to make your business more viable and more 
and your money more worthy of you gaining more uh more 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 real estate or more worth in america so it's going to be a this is going to talk about color and 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 how to get you here blonde how to keep you healthy with color all that stuff so we have barbers who will be speaking and i mean you name it and we have it so it's going to be for the professionals the classes are for the professionals but we have a trade show floor open which is on the first floor of the hotel it's the laguardia marriott hotel located on 102 dash zero five you know queens has those dashes so it's one zero two dash zero five ditmas boulevard is right next to laguardia airport you don't have and, to on my page and my page elizabeth where you are yeah. it's um the flyers are there so and after i'm and, gonna and they, they, and they can there. go to the website the website is phenomenon 2022.com mm -hmm. just spell the word phenomenon train you see all the educators mm -hmm. you see all what they're doing we're gonna have on the trade show floor we're gonna have vendors selling products selling makeup selling whatever you think of the beauty they're selling but we're also going to have on the trade show floor we're going to have a stage a runway where people will be doing hair competitions people will be doing hair presentations barbers will be doing hair, hair cutting competitions there'll be a cut party that night so when you come into the vendor space which is the trade show floor the the ballroom of the hotel you're not going to see vendors only you're going to see a show and it's only 15 dollars to get into the actual on show floor now it's 99 dollars to get to the classrooms but if you contact avril you're going to get those classes for 49.99 so i'm going to cut the price in half mm -hmm. for any stylist who wants to come to the show and see the educators the price is going to be cut to half price 49.99 only for the avril you have to mention avril show but let book. me ask you now, Dave. Wow. Yeah. What about if somebody come out that day? They're so excited now because they're hearing Coach Kimbe and Alize. And they say, I want to come out there and get my hair done that day and be, uh, know what shampoo or what to use and find out about the texture and all that. You're going to be doing all that on that so, day? So let me, let me just say that some of the educators have already asked me for models. They need people to get their hair done. So you have people who are doing color classes there. When you go to the flyer, you will see... Um, there are people on the flyer who are doing color, some are doing styling locks and so on, and they want models. So all you have to do is reach out to us, whether it's by email or by a website. The website has a has a, a, a contact page. You can reach out to us saying you want to be a model, just send an email from the website. And, and even tell me. Or tell Avril, and she will put your name on a list. Yeah, and that's, to, the thing yeah that, that's that right. Avril, they may have to meet with the, with the stylist the day before mm -hmm. because the stylist may want to see what they're going to do and discuss it with them and so forth. Um, they'll get, you know, free products and all that stuff. So there's going to be so much going on that day. It's a, it's, think of the Circle of Sisters, if you've ever been to Circle of Sisters, but just it's going to be a beauty Circle of Sisters. So everybody and their cousin can come. It's okay. And just in the classrooms. The classrooms are on the lower level of the hotel. You can go to the class unless you have a wristband that says you're qualified to go to the class. That's a different thing. But the show floor will be open to anybody who wants to see presentations, Kimbe is going to wow them. And, you know, Kimbe has a tendency when she sees a crowd, she really gets, she really goes over the top. She does, she does cartwheels and stuff in the classroom. Oh, Alyssa, yeah. Alyssa does the twerking in the class while she's teaching. So you're going to get performances. Wow. We're not going to call it education alone. We're going to call it edutainment. <laughs> it's education. You're going to see cartwheels from California. She's going to share how she runs from Texas to California in a cartwheel all in front of you. And right. um, and Dave, I, I, I'm so happy that you finally, in life, I'm going to be a model. Oh, you oh. could imagine I'm going to be a model. Yes. <laughs> they want nothing with me now. They want nothing with me. We coming back right after this. People don't go nowhere <laughs> because we got to talk some more. I'm going to be a model. Finally, somebody's making me a model. <laughs> June 4th, White Consulting Group in association with Culture Jam Radio presents Flower Gun and Friends. It's Flower Gun and Friends. On Saturday, June 4th, at Empire Manor, formerly Monica Stonehouse, 131 25 Springfield Boulevard in Queens. It also features Michael Lickshot Palmer, Keisha Martin, Junie Wright, Steve Knight, Alfred. The Saturday, June 4th. It's Flower Gun and Friends. Get your tickets today. In
get your ticket, get your ticket and check out the Avil Show page. Everything is right there. The yeah. flyer is there. Take the flyer and go out and support Florida and Edward. That's the man out in Jamaica who come on my show, hype me up. Oh, Avril, I love you. I'm going to marry you off. He will sing yeah. to me. So everybody was like, oh my God, girl, you're taking. I ain't hear from him after that. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. He just boosts me up. But he going to be in town. <laughs> And check me out. Revenge is coming his yes. way. That's right. What if someone want to be a vendor? They ask. Yes. You know what yeah. I learned about you, Avril? Yes. I learned um, that yeah. when it comes to your hair, you are low maintenance. You want some, You want to look really good, low maintenance. And so when you go see Alyssa, make sure that you get a hair color and i'm sure she's going to guide you through you get a hair color that is low maintenance because the question that she was asking how often do you get hair color right yeah and why i asked that right because dave no i have a problem with keeping up here uh -huh. i you remember the days we had jerry curl yes i mean i was the jerry curl queen because you know you don't have nothing to do after the curls is in there, wash and treat. Mm -hmm. That's easy maintenance. So you see, when I look at her hair, right, Alice's her hair, I'm seeing curls. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I see something like I can just get up, wash my hair, and gone. I could jog, I could walk. Now with this hair, I sweat in my hair. Mm -hmm. So that's the first place the sweat starts here and mm -hmm. run. So I'm always saying, I want my hair to be just something I could just get up and go. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm looking for. So I'm glad we have the experts here tonight. How about if you can't style your hair? Elizabeth, I'm talking about me. So that's what I'm talking about. We don't know nothing about styling yeah. hair. Low that's why Dave couldn't keep up with me because Dave take time with your hair. And after he finished with my hair and he treated and he do all these things to it, I get nervous for him to see me the next day because I don't know how to keep the curls. So I want to go right. back to the treatment and the jerry curl kind of look where I can mm -hmm. go. And if I want to put on a wig tomorrow to look different, I do it and then snatch it back off and look like yeah. Alice the next day. So right. I'm coming in to sit with you. Avril Francis, just cut it low and color it. See what Y Young just say is also maybe true. But that's a problem a lot of people do. They just go cut it off and say, mm -hmm. oh, I'll wear it low and color it. But they're not doing the right coloring. And sometimes the coloring look dull. And like Dave said, he have the special stuff mm -hmm. for the hair. So we need those things. We need to know what to use, how to maintain, and mm -hmm. until we get back to wash and treat and Right. Pur purify over here. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Girl, yeah. I you want, don't want I, nothing with I me. I want to quickly answer this question. One is um, um, someone asked, uh, I'm looking at the Facebook here, and your friend, she oh, asked, Brenda? Uh, endurance, endurance, yes. Edward asked, where in Pembroke Pine? So we have a an educator who is going to be at the show as well, but she's in Tamarack. She's very close to Pembroke Pines, about maybe 20 minutes from where you are. And she is Loftress Drea. I just tagged her so she can see. She has a phenomenal uh, uh, lock, loctician salon. She does a lot of celebrity from TV and stuff. And she's very humble. She actually is the cousin of my wife. I mean, their, their, their grandfathers are the same. And she is a phenomenal, phenomenal loctician. That's all she does. And she has a very private, private salon. She has her her... her her salon suite actually is in a law firm. So she's in a law a law firm building. Mm -hmm. She's the only one in That's a good place to be. So if you're the only... they just go get an attorney. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually not not only that, Ari, if they don't want to pay, the attorney's right there. That it works both ways. It works both ways. But she's yes. actually in a very quiet space in this mm -hmm. law firm. All lawyers, and she's the only person in there who's a stylist. So she's she's her name is um Loctress Dreer. She'll be an educator at the show as well. She just got added a few days ago and she'll be coming in to do a class on how to care for locks. Anybody who wants to know about lock, lock yeah, but training. Dave, we, we're gonna get them there because and see, then and then um your friend uh Joseph Josephine Kelly wants to be a vendor, and I just shared my number. So if you want to be a vendor, you can call me and um okay. Everybody. All right, so we're here tonight. We're talking about everything that ladies want to hear. And Elizabeth, I have an issue. When I go to the natural hair salon, I don't know what to say. I'm looking for 
in a hairstyle. She don't know. So Elizabeth, let me give you some advice, not just about purifying yourself, girl. Let me tell you what we're going to do here for you at the hair show on July 10th, right here in New York City. We are going to make sure that you are one of the models. But when they say models, don't worry about, you know, it's not about size now. Because people hear models and they think, oh, you got to be a five, six. We are fashionist models here. So what we're going to do, we are going to make sure that you find out the texture of your hair and all that when you finish. Girl, after July 10th, photo July going to look bad on you because you're going to make July look special. So Coach Kembe going to be there. Alessa going to be there. Dave Ray going to be there. And Avril going to be in the building. You ain't going to want nothing with me. And Doran say thank you all the way in Florida, thank Dave. You're welcome. You're so, welcome. and she always wear here short. I always like the way she look, but I guess she getting a, a better than, you know, I, sometimes you think things look good because you don't know better. You ever see somebody and they, you say, oh, that looks so nice. And then you see something nicer. You say, oh, my God. And you keep, oh, my God, in, you know. So not that you didn't look good endurance, but I'm just saying because you like the short hair. Now you're finding the experts. And I'm just loving this. So people, wherever you are with these wigs, some of your wig and glue every week. And you're all in the beauty salon gluing up your all hair and head. I see some people on YouTube. And when they finish showing you how to get your wig done, the amount of glue and this and all them stuff they put on. And our people go back the next day, wash the hair, wig it up, glue it up again. And they're just destroying the hair because they're not treating, they're not purifying, they're not doing anything special to the hair. All they do is know I'm going out tonight and I want a wig on. You know, so we are talking here tonight, people, about how to take care of your hair, treat your hair, color your hair, whether you look good, short or long. All this is going to be gone because I'm just tired of wanting to walk and exercise, but I don't want to sweat out my hair. Well, now I look like Alizé in a week or so. I can sweat and do anything I want to do and even sleep on my head doing cartwheel. Mm -hmm. I wear my hair in one all the time, Elizabeth say, because she don't know what to do with her hair. Yeah. Okay, so uh, it's over. Is it over? No, I'm saying it's over for her because we're going <laughs> to help Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wigs can be a gift and a curse. I mean, if you, yes. if you prep your hair correctly, I mean, you can really, that's a good protective style to really get a hold over your growth. It's mm -hmm. just when um, you don't use it as a protective style and you're just putting it on and it's rubbing up against and it's breaking it off. But if you do it right, you can get you some really good growth, some mm -hmm. really good shampoos and moisture for a little while. It's a nice it's a nice breather for individuals. Right. It is. I agree because I do lots. I, mean, I still do a lot of weaves, although I'm, I call myself retired. And uh, it's funny because I did this. I, I, you know, I sh Maybe I shouldn't say that, but. I do generally high end clients because you know. Anyway, I mean, well, you, you don't consider me in that league yet, Dave. No, no, you're, you're yeah. high end. You're worldwide. You're worldwide. You're, you're <laughs> global. On, you're the average. But I had uh, two that's right, honey. Left last Saturday, <laughs> two attorneys, you know, they're working this law firm in the city. They came to get their hair done. I'm talking about when she came and uh, mother and daughter. They're both lawyers. And when the daughter came to get her hair done, I said, "Wow, your hair looks so much fuller." She said, "Dave." Every time you use my hair, I, when I take out the weave, my hair looks fuller because I'm able to treat it. You give me the right products to use. And you should see her there talking. I wish I could have done an infomercial because she was just saying, my hair just, is, her hair was so healthy looking after I took out, after she, she, I said, how long you had this weave? And she said, like, almost four months, but I treated it. I did all the things you told me to do. I used the products you gave me. And when she took out her hair and I was going to redo it, you know, and I mean, nobody knows she has a weave in because, you know, she has a part in the middle and it's all her hair, you know, left out. And it's down to here. And she looks, I mean, I, if I saw her this week, I wouldn't know she, didn't have, she had a weave in. But she says, nobody in the law firm knows I don't, I don't I wear a weave. But her hair itself, maybe her hair is about this long, naturally. And her hair is so healthy. I mean, have you ever done somebody's hair, Kimmy, and you, you took it out and like, wow, the hair was so healthy. Mm, I didn't even yeah. trim it. It was so well cared for. Thank and you. conditioned well. Now I blew it. I was like, you didn't even need to trim. And you know, sometimes mm. when you trim the hair, before you put a weave in, you see a demarcation line if you're gonna leave some of the hair out. So oh, sometimes yeah. you don't you don't want to trim it. You want it to have a little jaggedy mm -hmm. and so that Absolutely. it can blend in better. 
but I didn't have to do anything. It was beautiful. So it depends on how do you, how do you take care of the hair when you have the weaving. There are many people, um, Avril, who have weaves and they don't shampoo their hair at all until three, four months later. I'm telling you. Yeah, when they're ready to take out the the. But weaves. you can shampoo you if you can if you if you have your hair done right, you can shampoo your hair in between um, salon services mm -hmm. if you want to do it at home. If you can do it at home, come to what I do. I have my clients if they. You know, sometimes you have two sisters and they can probably help each other. It's not that I want their money. So if they want to care for it at home because they want to save a few dollars, then I'll show them how to take the hair in chunks, braid it up, put a maybe rubber band in and shampoo it in the braided style. And when you finish, when you put in the conditioner, you can take it out and brush it out as opposed to have it matted, matted while you're shampooing. Although if you have a good texture of augmentation, according to Kim Bay, Kim, 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 Kim has me, have me use this word. When you want to augment your hair by doing hair augmentation, yes, you know, yes, we don't say yes. weaving anymore. We say hair augmentation. augmentation. When you're going to augment the hair with this extra personality piece. You want to make sure you get a good quality brand or good quality texture type of mm -hmm. hair so that it doesn't tangle, it doesn't mat. Right. You know, if it mats, then it's cheap hair, right? Mm -hmm. it doesn't mean because you paid eighty nine dollars a pack for the hair, whatever, it's good hair. That's you right. have to make sure you get here that the the cuticles don't sort of blend together and then causes some sort of tangling or, or matting effect am i telling the truth there kim Bay? absolutely yeah you know when the cuticles all go in the same way that that definitely prevents the hair from tangling yes we don't know nothing about that what do we know about augmenting <laughs> hair and purifying hair yes. we just get a wash and Listen, I, I, I wash, sometimes I, I, I watch some of these salons and yeah, they have the big thing and you don't even know what they're putting in your hair. You just trust that what they're putting in your hair works. Mm -hmm. Dave have his stuff where he can say it's Dave Ray products. So he has a name and you know where it comes from. So you know what you're using, but you've gone to beauty salon where it's just this big container, something and it's really nothing in there, no, but, you know, I, I, and you I, don't I, know, you I'll don't know what you, it is. I'll you. And I'll be honest with you, I think, and I really have to, in all fairness to some salons, they don't know any better. They may not realize that what they're using is not the best. Mm -hmm. If you're going to get a product in a big jar like this, that costs, you know, $10, I'm, I'm just calling a number and you use that on all your clients, it can be good quality products. So first of all, you can have a product that looks, that's a conditioner, but it only you can say glaze the cuticle, but it doesn't do any penetration. Right. There's some people who put a product in your hair, they put you under the dryer, but the molecular structure of that product is so large that it does not penetrate the hair even with heat. Right. So that's the cheap products. You have products that, you know, you have different parts of your of, of your hair strand. You have the cuticle, mm -hmm. you have the you have the cortex, you have the microfiber layer, you have the protofiber layer, you have all those layers in that one strand. And some of those conditions can go into, they penetrate the hair mm -hmm. and they can attach themselves to the hair and mimic what your hair has lost. So if your hair lost protein or your hair lost um, some sort of uh, menylene or some sort of some sort of um, uh, 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 sulfur or hydrogen level, you can replace it with some of these conditioners. So depenetration and intensive treatments, they're two different things because they go to different parts of that strand. strand. And so you have to know when you're using a product if heat, if heat is attached to this product, is it going to break the products down to the molecular weight or the molecular structure of this hair is penetratable or permeable through that, cut, to that cuticle to repair the hair? No. Sometimes it's just coating the hair. So it's like you're wasting 25 minutes under the dryer. Right. So you have to get products that are well-researched, right. that are well-tested, uh, so that you can know that you're using something great. Just picking up a product because it's cheap. And use everybody's not the best thing. That's yeah, you know, because I always wonder. And Ebony Thomas in Antigua, how you doing? You all Antiguans are just coming on here tonight and just showing off because they've always say he's from Antigua. So you know it's like an Antigua <laughs> thing. Then here come Janet Dixon who gonna say, Yeah, I'm from Antigua to Janet, you to Bossy and show off. Oh, I I I actually used to do Janet Dixon's here. She was a very close friend of mine. Oh, ja I think, you did I think Janet, Janet here? Lives, I think she lives in the Virgin Islands. If I'm not no, mistaken. Janet is right here. I, 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 I'm making all kind of money here in New York. So okay. get her out. Oh, yeah. And always if whining I know, and I know twerking. Janet Dixon. I know yes, Janet Dixon that's the Janet well. Dixon. So, yeah. she, if, matter of fact, you know, in her first life, she used to be a singer. 
Janet, you sure you're talking about the same Janet? Janet this Janet, I know she twerk a lot, but I never heard her sing. Yeah, she has something to twerk. Trust me. <laughs> I can't. She was young, she always had something to twerk. Wow, Janet, they're talking about you. Yolanda Freeland, how you doing? She said, and me, she put up the Antigua flag. These people, girl, I don't see her yet. I don't see her. I yet. don't who Janet. Yeah, Janet yeah. is right there. She said, laugh out loud. So maybe it's her. Ebony yeah. Thomas is laughing too. So all these Antiguans, I'm messing with no Antiguans because it look like you're all more in numbers than I thought. Let me talk to Alice. <laughs> now, you're going to make me look like you. Ha ha ha. I mean, things. Girl, Janet is true. You're hot. <laughs> but anyway, if they just come on, Dave, we're talking about a hair show that is going to be right here in New York City. We're going to be talking more about it, not just tonight. We're going to have more promotion on it. You're going to see a promotion um, video coming up soon with all the flyers and information. So everything going to be on it. And we're going to talk more about it. And for the Afro Show Foundation, Dave is going to give some lucky one or two people something special. And we're looking for models, um, Janet Dixon. So if you want to be a model for this show where you could come out and bring your, your take off the wig. I don't know if you're wearing one, but take it off and come out and figure out. We want to learn our texture of our hair. So Shirley Tripico says she's coming. Because she want to learn about her hair. She want to know what to use. People get frustrated. One minute she locks. Another minute she says, I'm going to braid it up. Another minute she don't know what to do. And because she is, I don't know if she's black or she's Jew or white. I don't know who Shirley is. Shirley is just all, everybody in one. But she just have this nice hair. But they're so soft and, you know, the wind blowing. You know, some people feel good when they're driving and they open up the car window and the hair blowing out the window and they feel important. But the hair really need treatment. They're just thin. <laughs> yeah, the hair thin. That, that's it. And that, that's all we say, oh, your hair is too thin. How do we know when it's thin? We are being judged. We're judging because we don't know nothing about hair. But we're walking around because now tonight my hair feel nice and I'm saying, oh, my hair is so thick and nice until Coach Kimbell or Alice they say, no, uh-uh, this needs some treatment, better treatment. Because maybe who treated me is just really making me wear wig all the time because mm -hmm. I'm not happy. So I'm here trimming my locks and considering cutting it all off due to damage, Yolanda, Yolanda, come with me on July 10th and let's change the way things get done. Dave, nobody with the writing, because we got more promotion to do than tonight. You understand? Know, we, we're doing one promotion where everything is in what one promotion. <laughs> everything is right here, right here, right here. What right. products can you use for hair thinning? You see? Yes. Uh, she just joined. Ebony Thomas just joined. But Coach Kimbe said that. How do you know that you hear, yeah, thinning? Because some people say thinning when they get in ball or, you know, they hear thinning out. They say, oh, Lord, I'm losing my hair. But how can you tell somebody like tonight what to use? Don't you have to see them and examine the hair? Yep, Dave Ray. Oh, uh, well, you have to do what is called a hair and scalp analysis. Mm -hmm. So you want to do a client consultation, hair and scalp analysis. So you can make an evaluation as to what's best for the hair. You also have to find out, too, what's the lifestyle of the person. You have to find out what they eat and habits are. And they have to be truthful. Because, if you know, we have, a, we have a, an evaluation sheet where we do, uh, we, we take notes, and the notes have to be truthful. But you, as a professional, have to uh, pledge some sort of uh, uh, confidentiality with this client. Because she may want to tell you things that, she's been doing that's causing her to, to be thin and believe me it's not as simple as you think um it can be sometimes she's taking taking certain type of birth control pills you have to know all these things about her hold on janet you taking birth control by any chance janet <laughs> it's just between you and the average show but hold on to that janet so you see it came out just now mm -hmm. dave say you you could be taking some birth control yeah. or maybe janet twerking so much so she sweat a lot in her hair because she always partying you know so she when she start to whine and bubble sweating in the hair what about when you sweat a lot in your hair all that 
And yeah. as Dave said, why you eat? But Dave, I just eat a lot of porridge. I love cornmeal porridge, all kind of the porridge. Cornmeal is good. But, and that's why I see you still have your hairline. That's good. So, you know, the funny thing is a lot of people who have thinning, they, they use a lot of, and I'll, I'll tell you this little secret. I'm not going to tell you everything because that's really for consultation. But if you eat lots of starchy foods, you generally lose hair as you grow, as you get older. Because starchy foods is like sugar. And sugar, the, 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 the construct of sugar is a thinning agent because what it does, it attacks what you call your, it, 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 it creates, it, it, it attacks what you call your alpha, your alpha uh, or your, or your, your alpha um, and omega of your hair. Oh. No, no, no. So your beta, your beta would be better for your hair. Or a lot of times your, your androgen levels increase because of the fact that you eat a lot of starchy foods there's a long story to it so you see people thinning in the front you look they eat bread in the morning they have rice white rice they have pasta in the afternoon they have white white potato whatever and so all those are starchy eat all day and they may not eat enough vegetables to balance the meal it's always great to balance your meals mm -hmm. so that you as opposed to just oh i just you know i see people go to the store and say let me have some curry goat and white rice no vegetables and they eat that every day now, mm -hmm. white rice is starch. It's simple starches, and they break down into sugars more quickly, and you can cause thinning. It doesn't only cause diabetes, but it also cause thinning of the hair. So you have to know a lot of things. You have to know, um, and you don't drink enough water. So all these things can be factors. I mean, plus and Dave, you hear that a lot from a lot of people. Oh, I don't like water. Yeah. I'm, I'm not a water person. And when they have one bottle of water, they have the one bottle, and they're sipping all day. When they finish this, they say, I drink, I drink water today. <laughs> and all they're doing is sipping. Right. You know, they ain't even consume two, two bottle of water for the day. But yeah. a lot of people is guilty of that. I wear yeah. all of the above. My baby shop shut long time, no perm, stop that long time, but she wear a lot of weave because sometimes we just don't know what to do. I'm guilty of it. Yeah. 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 I'm going to piggyback. Um, you know, um, what Dave was saying is sometimes it's hereditary, right? Sometimes. So, yeah. So we have to dig into, you know, your mom, your dad, what have you seen, you know, and then from there, you could try to prolong it. But if it's mm -hmm. in your genes, it's in your genes and you're going to have to go with it. Yeah. Um, sometimes so, individuals um, get into medical situations, whereas they they get um, there's so many different types of alopecia hair loss. Mm -hmm. Right. And so you got to figure out what type of alopecia it is. And sometimes if you let it go on, the, the skin will start growing over the hair follicle when if they would have got it treated, uh, we could have kept that hair follicle open so it could regrow mm -hmm. itself. So, you know, just go see a trichologist, Dave Ray. You know, you got to go see it just to see if it's something that's major. Right. So you got to see it and you want to see if it's coming out from the root or if it's breaking off. A lot of times mm -hmm. we get confused the difference between falling out and breaking off. Right. If it's breaking off, it can 1000 percent be revived. Right. right. You know, we just got to get you in the right regimens so it grows long enough for you to see that mm -hmm. it does grow before it yeah. breaks off. And you, you know something, um, Elizabeth asked something, because I used to hear that a lot, because people were in the store and buy all kind of crazy stuff. I have seen these things about hair growth and vitamins for hair growth, and people just go crazy buying them and using them. But how do you really know that? They're for you. Hi, Beverly Tyson William. How are you doing, sweetie? Thanks for joining us. You're a little late, but one thing with the program, you could go back to the beginning and watch what you miss, and remember to share it for other women who want to look sexy like myself coming up on July 3rd. So the vitamin things that they put, because when you see um, something for you here and you say have vitamin E, have this, you have, the, you have all kind of stuff, but you don't know how much is in there. So even though you say have vitamin E, how much vitamin E in there? So we run crazy. We read these things and we drive ourselves crazy. But in reality, how the, does this thing really work? But as it go back to all that we say, they can work, but they have to come to a specialist to make that determination what they use. Because Dave, who is in the business and they call him the doctor. And you have Coach Kimbe who teach Dave. So you know you have an expert <laughs> right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Could you imagine? Just come in and stop worry. Just tell yourself tonight, the worries is over. That's why we brought this show tonight. Mm -hmm. For people to understand. Ingrid Warner, good evening to you. Blessing to you, to my sister. We brought this show tonight to teach women the truth behind here. Mm -hmm. All these things we're hearing on the commercial. Do you know, I see um, 
it's not about black and white here, but I see a white lady doing a commercial. And when she put the thing in her hair and she finished, this girl said to me, oh my God, I got to buy that. So I said, but it's a white lady talking about her hair. You don't have that kind of hair. How do you know that that works for you? How do you know you put that thing in your hair and you're gonna make your hair that straight? Great info, wish I was in New York. Where are you, Lelio? Which state are you in? Because Coach Kimbe is all over, girl. Wherever you are, we get her to you. Don't worry about that. And mm -hmm. where she's not, there is someone else there. So put on there where you at, okay, Lelia? I know you're not in New York, but don't worry about where you are. We are telling you we have great people. Oh, she's in Oregon. Okay. So you oh, see, we, we can reach anywhere by. by don't worry there. about it. Yeah. We we can we can give you consultation and so, we can talk to you, Dave. Let me do my talking. Let me purify this show tonight, Dave, <laughs> <laughs> and augment this show. Avery, I want to add something. Um, I love the fact being around like-minded professionals, you know, we all learn from each other. And I just want to add on, you said, how do you know about the, you know, what's in it? Like how much, right? Yeah. So when you look on the back of the ingredients, ingredients are always listed in descending order. Mm -hmm. So whatever the first ingredient is, that's what the most of it is. And then it mm -hmm. goes down from there. Mm -hmm. So that's how you know what kind of like a roundabout what percentages you're getting inside your product. Mm -hmm. Oh, you hear that's, that's that's Ingrid in Sankits? Mm -hmm. Ingrid. So you're in Sankits, Ingrid, you say. So if you look at your Vaseline, you know, back in the days, you all ain't had nothing to use other than pure white Vaseline. Mm -hmm. Where when the dust blow up, it stick all in your hair, but yeah. it grow your hair. Yeah. It grew your hair because it didn't have no nonsense in there. So if you look at that and you say coconut oil, first thing, then the majority in there is the coconut oil. Exactly. But let me ask, oh Lord Elizabeth, you have one other question, you know. You mean I must ask them about biotin? No commercial gonna advertise on this show tonight, but no biotin. We're talking mm -hmm. Dave Roy even um stuff, Coach Kimbe stuff, and Alice stuff. But about the biotin, I see that in so many people talk about it, but I don't see one person that have tried it and come back and tell me what it did. So what Dave, do you have biotin in your thing? Yes, biotin is in most products that are that are for um, re restoring hair or regrowth or stopping hair from breaking. So mm -hmm. biotin is one of the most vital products. But the thing is, uh, as as Kimbe rightly said, products are listed <laughs> on a on a jar in any product in any brand or any product. It doesn't have to be hair products in anything. The first product that you see is the the most vital or the the most. A prominent product, if you want to call it that. You so, say, Alice, they look sweet. Look on that. <laughs> All right, she coming back. Yeah, go ahead, yeah. Dave. You got to go to her website. Her website is phenomenal. Oh, go right ahead. But Dave. the thing is, the thing is, um, you, you just taking these products, for example, that you see in the store, they don't just work that way. You have to sometimes change your lifestyle, change the way you eat, change your eating habits. Um, there are many things that you have to do differently. That's why you have to see a nutritionist. That's why you have to see a trichologist. You can't just pick up something and use it because if you're doing the same things that you always do and just add this product by taking it, it may not make the change you want to see. You see what I'm saying? For example, you may need to drink more water. You know, and as, as Kimmy rightly said, in some cases, you know, alopecia is hereditary. And if it's hereditary, that's what we call androgenic or androgenetic alopecia. And that has to do with you may you may be suffering hair loss from your mother's father's side or your father's mother's side. You have to know all these things, even on the natural hair. As a stylist, and Kimbe can attest to this, when you work in somebody's hair, you always find one section of the hair is a different texture than all the rest. Find out, maybe if this person has really, you know, full hair, and then right maybe on this side or right here, and this they have a, a thin or a sparse section. You find out that their great their grandfather or their they have their mother's father's hair right in their patch, but the rest of it is their mm -hmm. father's family hair. So all those things, you know, because genes. Um, we have what you call immutable differences, immutable, uh, immutable uh, uh, um, phases of, our, of who we are in our phenotypes that can determine who we are. We, we are who we are because of who we have come from. Your and DNA. Not only your skin, not only your nose, but also your hair. Your hair is going to reflect what your origin is. Yeah, but because they have the back of my hair seem to be always more softer. 
that's, so I was that's, wondering that's your, if grandfather, that's your grandfather from your father. I'm just making up that. Oh, I okay. I, I, I believe you too because right. I think <laughs> this side is my mother. And then you also have <laughs> thinning, what we call traction alopecia too. People say, oh, my hair is breaking off, but maybe they're doing too many tension, maybe to the most right. sensitive areas. And so you have traction alopecia. You have telogen effluvium. You have, you know, somebody just maybe just had a baby or something. You have people who have, there are some people who hear grows to a certain point in some parts, spots, and it breaks off, grows, mm -hmm. breaks off. And they, when it's growing, they're not treated enough for the protein to strengthen so it can grow longer because when they have something called trichorexis nodosa, mm -hmm. that if you go to a certain point, you can break off. So there's mm -hmm. so many things. I mean, this, really a doctor. They, they ain't call you a doctor. Well, well this trichology thing is not, it's not a one night conversation. Sure. It's so many facets to this. Are we that, coming back? We're coming back. We have to come back there. Don't think yeah. we could do this one night, no, this one no. night show like we could. That's why they got to come to the show. And, and that's why on and July 10th. The, the funny thing is all the information is going to be there. That's it. And if you, like you say, um, why young? Yes, you're in Long Island, so you could come over to Queens. And I know we, we're going to get that done. And Ingrid, you're in St. Kitts, but don't worry. We're going to set up something to educate the people in St. Kitts. We're going to have a hair show right Avril. here. We it, have people registered from Barbados, Trinidad, and Tortola. All over, and a lot of you Antiguans, I could see that. So, so should come. yeah, that's why. Right. So people on July 10th. I'm going to be giving you the advertisement coming up, not on this show, but um, by itself. And all the information going to be there and all who's going to be there is going to be there. And you're going to see Dave in his suit looking like the real godfather. So it's coming up. It is a big thing. Save that date. Put it on your calendar. Tell your friend to tell their friend that on July 10th is a big show all day in New York. If you come 10, if you come 11, the show going to be going on. But come there so you don't miss nothing. Come. We're going to have lunch. We could eat, bring, even if you want to bring your crackers in your bag, but come eating healthy to impress Dave and Coach Kim Ben Alize because you're here. Eating is part of it. Come with a bottle of water too. And say, I just drink my water. What do you mean? How about black castor oil, which is used for hair growth? No, I know you're Jamaican now. I know you're coming with your black Jamaican castor oil. But I am going to tell you, Elizabeth, me use that thing there and that thing had me here. That and coconut oil, I don't mess with no more. Because it's either we don't know how to use the stuff that we use, mm -hmm. and that's what messing us up. Because we're buying all these things because... You go in the store, everything said black Jamaican castor oil, and you see everybody buying them up. And I bought it, and it makes my hair was too like something about it. I said, no, okay, I can't use it no more. Castor, um, coconut oil, it's good. But well, we got to know how to mix these things. Mm -hmm. Everybody want to mix up their own thing. And what damaging us, I, I, I can attest to it because I have friends and family. You watch them buy the coconut oil, and here, one of my friends. We just pour some of the coconut oil with the castor oil and the this and that, and they blend it up and they say, well, everything work. But you are not an expert, mm -hmm. so you don't know how to do this. So Dave is here tonight, Coach Kimba is here tonight, Alize is here tonight, and people on July 10th, as we get closer, we're going to tell you more about it, and we're going to come back here, tell you more about some goodies that are going to be there. We're going to show you, we're going to demonstrate. We're going to have a night of a demonstration of what you're going to miss if you're not there. So Dave ain't going to give you everything tonight because Dave is a man. You know, the man them love to tease. So <laughs> don't think he's on here to give you everything tonight. That's yeah. not going to happen. But we're coming back with part two of this as we get closer. What I, to I expect? Wanna say, I wanna say one you thing. could say anything you want Quickly. to say. You're the doctor. Because Kim Bay may not know this, or neither Alyssa, but... Uh, I don't. Use, yeah, Go Jamaicans ahead. use a castor oil that they bring from Jamaica. <clears throat> and I want it, they buy it in the market and they tend to blend it. It breaks the hair. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tell you why. It's blended with salt for it to be preserved. And the salt that's sitting in the hair tends to break the hair. So I would suggest if you're not using refined castor oil, <clears throat> don't just use raw castor oil. It's really not good for the hair. I'm just telling you, I've seen it. I've seen, we have done testing on it in labs and we have seen over years it breaks the hair. So be very careful of that castor oil that's pure, as they call it, from Jamaica. Because they, they in the market they put they put the salt to preserve it. So be very careful of that. Just want to. But Dave, you stayed, and Janet said, doesn't work for me. No coconut castor oil leave my hair scalp itchy. 
-hmm. what it did to me, and I'm not here. Because of the salt. Um, Elizabeth, you say you brought yours from Jamaica. Look how you take up space in your luggage when you could have come right here so, and get the real thing. I'm saying to you, and it's costly. No joke. When I first heard about it, because you all grew up on castor oil and all these stuff, I went and I, I bought it. And when I washed my hair and put that thing in my hair, problem can tell you. Problem bought it too. And it had my hair to the end like not head up. And it was something going on with it. And I said, no. And even the shampoo, it didn't do me any good. So when you come in my bathroom, all these products that were there, I just put them in a bag and I say, why take up space? Just get rid of them. Mm -hmm. You know, so we're here tonight to change you. We have the doctors in the house. The doctors are here tonight. The physicians are here tonight. There's healing in this show tonight. So mm -hmm. tell your friends on July 10th, Come on out, drink water, eat some porridge in the morning like myself, and come on out and register. If you want to be a model like myself for this show, just say on this thread, you want to be a model, Dave will contact you. I will spread the rumor to Dave that you want to be a model, and you come up and Dave will tell you what you have to do. It's not about Avril. Avril is trying to look just as good as some of you all here. So uh, when I'm finished with Alize on July 3rd, when I walk into my show and you see my hair, don't ask to do it. It will be Alize. And guess what? <laughs> I'm going on July. Don't think I'm going July 10 and sit down and sit in front of Coach Kimbe and start to act like I'm all that. And Dave ain't going to have nothing to say to me after that because I'm going to be all this on a bag of chips. So coming up right here, we're going to have more about July 10th. The big show here in New York that you can't miss. I want to be a model. Elizabeth, we got you. So Dave, here you go. Elizabeth want to be a model. She's tired of wearing a hair in one. Coach Kimbe is going to be in the building. So who's not going to be flipping, going to be twerking, but it's going to be a dear twerking, dancing, <laughs> laughing. We're going to be uniting. It's going to be sister show, but we're going to have the men there to support the women. So we are coming together. We're making models out of non-models on July 10th. All right. <laughs> That's how we do it. So come on, Janet, Janet, I want me here purified. Problem, all I said to you, you said you want to go, I text you, Brooklyn in the house, you will get all the information coming up. So if you want to make an appointment with Alize, we'll tell you more about it. It will be on the thread. Do I, do I... Can I wine? You can do anything. Just come on. We're going to tell you, Dave, put it up there, how much it's going to be. Once you say the Avril show, we want people, I got to get to some of these um, beauticians here in the Bronx to come on out because I'm tired of seeing some of them. We just, just weave, weave up your hair and can't even style. They're not, they're not stepping up. They're not going to learn new things. You can't tell me as a beautician since 1996. And you're sitting down in there doing here every day and you don't go nowhere to learn new things and get new product and new, you know, bring in new treatment and introduce them. This beautician is who's supposed to be introducing us to the things that they learn from you guys. That's right. You understand? We're supposed to go in and they say, listen, sit down. I have something to sh share with you. What is Coach Kimbe Facebook or website? I found the other two. Wow, they're searching already. You see this small <laughs> advertisement and promotion. You think the Apple show easy? Kimbe, yes. Dave, write it. Dave is going to write it up. Dave is the writer for the yes. Apple show. Um, CoachKimbe.com um, is um, my email. Coach Kimbe on Instagram is Coach Kimbe. Just True. look for Coach Kimbe. The, right. the name is right here. And right. you must find it. Okay. And my academy is called Cosme Bar. It's CosmeBar.com. Write it up, Dave. See, mm -hmm. I just get a writer for my show. Devil show is going to get big after tonight because I'm going to have a writer now. And my hair is going to look. <laughs> <laughs> well, watch me now. Y'all can't talk to me. <laughs> but listen, Elizabeth, keep it locked. And remember, on July 10th, and just spread the word around and share it. And the flyers are there. Share it with your friends. I'm going to be putting it out in a minute. And remember, let your friends know that you have a date on July 10th. And you don't need to be no other place than, other than the place where you could be purified and augment. 
nobody give me no credit. I just learned two new words. Yes, okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so people in St. Kitts, Antigua, wherever you are, stop buying the products. Stop fooling yourself because the castor oil they're making now in what the grandmother used to make before. Mm -hmm. Okay, everything changed. So we have Coach Kimbe, and she mentors you. She do everything. The show is not ramping with nobody right now. This ain't about politics and the nonsense. And we're coming up next week. We have a great show coming up next week. So keep it coming. From 2004, I've been talking. And if I ain't shut up, I ain't going to shut up again. Avril, I speak. Yes, Elizabeth, spread the word. Share it. Coach Kimber, I can't wait for July 10th. All of them, I'll be calling you after tonight. We got to talk about the hair. Yes. And if you don't look good at me, I know you're going to tell me, no, this is not for you. We're going to make it beautiful. <laughs> I yes. want to walk in that place and act like I'm all that and a bag of something else. <laughs> Boy, yeah. Davis, Davis busy right in. Okay. All right. So all the information is there for you guys that you could check out. Alyssa is the SD dash essence of beauty, right? Yes. Yeah, D dash essence of beauty. Yeah. yeah, I did it. I put it up. Okay. Yeah. So Everything is right. That's right. So make your appointment, go get purified. And once your head is purified, you know, if your hair don't look good and feel good, you don't feel right. You can dress to kill and your head is not done. You That's still right. don't feel right. No. Yeah. It's something it's about true. the hair. This is your crown. This is your crown. That's right. So ladies, we're going to wear it and we're going to change the look. Elizabeth, even your husband ain't going to recognize you when they're done with you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, I wanted to add in that at um, July 10th at the show, I am going to introduce a um, business opportunity for individuals who want to shift careers without having to go to school and get a license, but just want to add on more income, more revenue in a blue ocean business. And I just want to share that with you guys that day. So if you're interested in the industry, but you just want a piece of it, I got an opportunity for you. You think we, Avril, ask if natural eggs work for your hair. Elizabeth, that. Elizabeth, don't bother start because you're growing up your little fowls and you got your big house now upstate and you're growing fowls in your backyard. So now she eating her own natural eggs. She asks Dave, does that work for her hair? You see how people show up when they get their house? She got fowls now and she growing her own eggs. <laughs> so you remember they used to say you you crack the egg and you put it mm -hmm. in your hair. Does it really work? Can we want to go with that? Well, it, it depends on what the condition of the hair is. It yeah. does have properties. It, it works as a mask mm -hmm. and it just depends on what that hair is showing. You want to add on to that, Mr. Ray? Well, the, the, the egg is protein. And so, yes, it can do some building, have some building blocks. However, used on its own, it, it can actually cause the hair to become even drier and harder. So mm -hmm. after using that, you have to balance that with some sort of moisturizing agent. So you can't just use egg on your hair and rinse it out. You got to go in there with some, some softener to moisture. Because if not, if your hair is strong, if your hair is strengthened, but it has no moisture, it's going to pop. So it can't it can work. It can actually be good and it can be bad. It has advantages and disadvantages to egg. At the same just time. Raw at the same time. Listen. If I, I'm going to say this right now, I love my followers, but if I have to listen to some of these people here, we do this show for three hours, you know, you hear Ebony Thomas going to ask me, rice water, does rice water work? Answer that, Dave. That's Actually, cool. rice water has some properties in it that really mm -hmm. works. So, you know, the thing is, you have to know what you're treating. Yeah. You have to know what you're treating. You can't just use it just because it's there. You right. have to know what the what the, what the keys and benefits of rice water is what what are the what are the core deliverables of rice water what is it going to do for you and if you don't know the core deliverables i would suggest you do research in it first because remember everything is not for everybody everything is not for, every for everybody and so you have to make sure you're not doing this just because some somebody says it's good but it's good for what what is it good for you know so those are the things you have to make sure you know i don't want to i can't give you answers unless i do a consultation with you and to say this works or that works because I'll be speaking in a vacuum. And then I'm going to give you something to use that may not be the best for you. Maybe good for your cousin or good for your enemy or good for your church pastor. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you, you, everything is not for everybody. So, but they have all these things have good pro 
as a matter of fact, I think every product has a property that's good for something. something. You just have sometimes to know how to work. And then you have to know what combines with what. Because what happens is that sometimes you blend a product with another product. And what it does, instead of working as a team, it overrides the other that's product. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes the product that you're blending it with has no effect because that product will be so potent that it doesn't give rise to the product that is lower in terms of, low of value. So you have to know all these things. All right. I think the biggest problem with, with, with some of these is fads. Like you ride it, you ride it like a horse and you go, well, my cousin did it. My auntie did it. My girlfriend did it. And it might've worked for them. What works for me may not work for you. I can do stuff to my hair that you might not can do to your hair. And then I gave you advice. Oh, girl, do that. And then you come to me and your hair's out. You don't, you know, now you want to fight me because all your hair's off your head. Oh, because they want to look, look like they want to, yeah, they want to look, look like you. Like yeah, it's true. Listen. I have <laughs> stories, listen to me. I have stories about Liz and fight, okay? Um, just to make a light moment, I, I we did a show in Atlanta, I want to say four years, three, four it's years ago. It's been about three or four years ago. And I was working as a judge and she was working. She was one of the person working in my booth. And this hairdresser came by the booth and the hairdresser, I guess she bought some products from us, from my booth. So I got called by this lady, the booth next door. Kimber, you never heard this story. And I'm telling this publicly. And she said the word fight, so I had to bring it up. <laughs> and so the lady, I guess, came back to our booth, walked into our booth and picked up a product that I had gotten from another company. Mm -hmm. So I bought something, I was storing it in my, in my booth. And she said, no, ma'am, 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 that's not your product. That's our. She said, yeah, I left it at the booth. She says, no, you did not. Dr. Ray bought this product and he left it here. It's from another company. He bought it earlier. He asked me to secure it. The lady walked away. Well, Alyssa, apparently, the show was over. It was, it was a professional show. And Alyssa took off her shoes <laughs> and was about to beat this one with the heel of the shoe in her head to get this product back. You know, the funny thing is all the people who had boots around us said, that girl who worked for you, she was really amazing. <laughs> they said she defended you to the T. She, she, that lady wouldn't leave that. You know, we had to have security. The police for the convention center had to come. The lady got arrested. And Elizabeth was trying to beat the woman. That's sure was. Because she was caught. They saw her on the camera that she was trying to steal the product. Now, what actually happened, the lady bought a product like that, but she left yeah. it somewhere else in she the show. That. She left it at another table. And she... I mean, walked into our booth to take the product up, thinking Alyssa stole her product. And it's like, no, <laughs> Alyssa, you're not going to leave your, your Dave Ray's product today. Not you. So I, everybody's like, all the vendors, I thought they would say, oh, Alyssa, they said, no, your girl was good. She really defended you. She was like, uh uh. The girl could not leave the building. It was the police arrested her. It was too funny. It was just funny. So when she used the word fight, I just remembered that. Oh, well, Alyssa, so have to, Ebony. You have to remember that part, right? <laughs> right. Ebony, don't, don't. Ebony, my advice tonight, do not mix the, the rice water with the eggs and the everything because, <laughs> you know, you have some people, you know, they would hear Dave say, yeah, man, the egg work. And then you hear, yes, the rice water work. Mm -hmm. And yes, the cast work. And they said, man, I got mix up all that and try it, you know, before they come and get the real deal. Right. So, oh, she said she won't. She said she won't do it. All right. So, you know, people, we're here tonight just to educate and inform you because if we don't bring the information to you, some of us may not get it. And the Avil show being around from 2002 and God knows every time I feel like giving up, something good comes along. Mm -hmm. And after tonight, I feel like I have a reason and a purpose to come back and do another here show. But don't forget, lock it in for July 10th and we're going to have another session and you will hear when we're coming back to tell you as the show get closer what to expect, what Coach Kimbe gonna be, you know, twerking to, and what Alice they gonna oh, be. She's caught wheeling. Oh, caught wheeling. She's, <laughs> yes. she's so, caught. You're doing good, Avril. We appreciate you. Thank you so much, <laughs> Ebony, and everyone who stay up and Ingrid all the way in St. Kitts. Ingrid, I'm gonna send you my info later. And we are going to find out more of what we can do with Coach Kimbe, Alize, and Dr. Ray is going to be at the Avil show on June 3rd. So if you're there, you're going to even get a chance to meet him. But boy, when he dress and come out, you know, 
Oh boy. Mm -hmm. That's it. Elizabeth says she loved this show. <laughs> Elizabeth, thank you so much. But don't worry, keep you here up in one until we put it down on July 10th. But don't come before me because I want to look better than you. Love to see you without the wig, Avril. Ingrid, now you just boost up my head. Me done with wig after tonight. So Alizé, we're going to talk because I have to get yes. to you quick. Yes. And I want to thank all the people who are making the Avril Show possible, Ridgewood Savings Bank. I want to thank you so mm -hmm. much. McCall's Bronxwood Funeral Home, Teddy Nissan Car Service, Best Deal Car Service. I want to thank Monte Fury Hospital. And I want to thank everyone who is coming out because we cannot do this show without you. We have three young people who will be receiving scholarships. And these scholarships, you're going to know who have donated and made this possible. But thank you to the bank that we do business with. Support your local businesses, support the people who are making a difference in the community. And as I said to you, these people has been with me over the years and continue to support every move I make. If it wasn't doing something good, they would have dropped me a long time ago. But it's the greatest gift is to have a funeral home doing business with me. Mm -hmm. Because we either go to them or they're going to come for us. But we know that we have to go to them eventually. <laughs> <laughs> and I just love it. I have to play this one more time. Okay, so this is Anthony Cruz representing for Avril Show Foundation. Seeing June the 3rd at 8 p.m. Don't miss it enough. Don't know. Eastwood Manor in the Bronx. Go and check it out. Anthony Cruz said that. And do remember, she's going to leave the door open. I'm going to leave the door open. <laughs> Mama. That's what we are talking about. Thank you all so much for staying up with us. And Coach Kimber will be talking some more. Alessa, we're going to be talking some more. Dave Ray, I'm hey, going to be talking to you. Go right ahead, honey. What's the number? What's the Zell number to support? Oh, yes, yes, I'm waiting on the Zell number. Oh, you can Zell me at 516. Joyce Barron, I'm so sorry that you're just coming on. Just go back to the the middle of the start of the show and watch it all over. You'll miss some great information, Joyce, that you need to hear. But you can contact me at, oh, you know what, coach? I'm going to send you all the number. Okay. Because oh, the, the Zelle information is, we have a PayPal also where everything is on the flyer that's there. It's on the flyer where you can Zell send the, the, the money to PayPal, it goes straight to the foundation. All the information is there. And if you want to reach me, you know, I don't want to give the wrong man my number tonight. Oh, I, I, was, actually, I, I was actually typing it, so let me stop. No, no. <laughs> don't put that one that you have. The, pay, the PayPal is uh, an email? Yes, Real Talk at the Avril Show Foundation. Real Talk? At the Avril Show Foundation. Real Talk. And they can check out the website. They can even go to the website and it has you pay mean, hold and on, donate. Real, real talk at the at sign. Real talk at the Avril Show Foundation. Okay. okay. That all. Avril and they can also check out the website, which is the Avril Show Foundation. That all. Okay. And all the information is there. And Janice Martin, Dave, Janice is one of the sponsors. She made it possible for us. She's one of those silent viewers that watch this show every time I'm on. Oh, and wow. I was surprised when I get off and she sent me an inbox message. She said, I want to support um, your scholarship. I was in shock. I thank mm -hmm. her so much. So you never know who is watching you. Mm -hmm. So I must admit to your coach, Kimbe, you're going to have some followers now and silent followers. They're going to be sneaking <laughs> up on your page, watching everything you put, watching you hear. And Alice say they're going to be doing it. I want to look like her. I want that hairstyle and, you know, and all that stuff. So we can look like you, but you can make us look like ourselves. That's the main That's thing. Right. So my people, whatever you may stay tuned. I'm going to be posting more after this. And Joyce Barron, sorry that you just tune in. 
Good night to you, Yolanda Freeland. Don't cut it off. Let them tell you what to do and get it done right. Okay? So we're going to be coming back. I will promise you we're going to set up another night for part two as we get closer to tell you what to expect and how much model is going to be there and how you're going to look after June 10th. I'm excited already. I could go to sleep like this. I don't care no more because they're coming off. Right, Alizé? But you're going to decide whether they come off or... Oh, you're gonna but do you gonna we 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 we're gonna get it done. We're gonna surprise them. We're gonna surprise them. That's right. It's all <laughs> blessed night to all Ingrid. Thank you so much, Dave. Don't don't Dave. log don't log off here. Let me take a picture of this. This is really awesome. I'm doing I'm doing like you want me to smile, Dave. You can do whatever you like. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Oh, my phone is showing. Kimby, how do I not let my phone show? How do you what's going on? Oh, how you don't? You got to just hold it low. <laughs> you just got to hold it low. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I see, not, yeah, I see it now. I see it now. Yeah. Nice. I got it. Yeah. All right. You, you, you got it. I got it. I got oh, it. oh, okay. Dave learned something tonight. Mm, you hold it low. Hold it low. That's, that's, <laughs> that's why she's a coach. That's why she's a teacher. She's an educator. That's right. That's right. We thank you all so much and we look forward to Love spending you all. another night. Love you, ladies. Good had night. a great time. Thank yes. you. I did too. Yeah, thank I you for so having me. Okay. Anytime. We'll be back.